What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we'll be winding the clocks back to 2012 to take a look at LEGO set 6864 Batmobile in the Two-Face Chase. Now this set had five figures, which is pretty amazing for a $49.99 set back in the day with 531 pieces. So this was in the rebooted DC line. As you can see, we got a, a updated Batman at the time and really just fantastic box art uh, because I got this with the box recently. I figured I might as well include it in here. But in any case, it really is a fantastic set. One of my favorite LEGO DC sets ever. But I do have to point out that back in 2012, I was actually disappointed with this set before I bought it. The reason being is there was a DC set back in the day from the original Batman line that was basically this exact same premise. Two-Face in a zany vehicle being chased by Batman in an awesome Batmobile. So I was kind of bummed that they rehashed this. But then I realized that pretty much the whole 2012 Batman line was rehashed ideas from the old one. And truth be told, I actually think it's cool in principle. So let's start taking a look at this set. Now it came with two Two-Face henchmen, as you can see here. So this guy's got a little goatee, some purple sunglasses, and both of the henchmen have identical, uh, like little pullovers, I guess you would call it. That's exactly the same torso, same legs, and just some different heads. They kind of give them that goonish look, which is very cool. Obviously, the main drop for this set, as far as many figures are concerned, is Two-Face. He's a relatively uncommon Lego figure to begin with, and at this point, it was only the second Two-Face ever made. So I love the fact that they gave him a little one-by-one -one flat coin piece here. They reused the old Two-Face hair, the same mold with the black and uh, white hair. I kind of wish that they, you know, modeled it more with the color scheme that they gave him, but it still does work out. And Two-Face is actually my favorite DC villain, so this set really is very special to me. And now we have two pretty uh, insignificant figures. Of course, the security guard here, pretty standard. You know, he's come in several sets over the years, Marvel and DC, truth be told. And then, of course, we just have another Batman, which is this uh, black and yellow Batman. And his cape is kind of crumpled up because I bought this used and he'd been sitting in the Batmobile for the last eight years. So uh, his cape isn't supposed to be crumpled like that, but that's what happens when you get into the used Lego set game. So as far as the set itself, let's take a look at the bank here. Now, I think that it's very cool that aside from the vehicles themselves, you actually get some scenery that those vehicles can interact with. It's a really, really fantastic build. It's a very solid build. Looks like that roof could be pushed in a little better, though, don't you think? I love that you've got a little teller station here where somebody could stand behind there and actually do the bank transactions. The door opens forward, of course. The safe opens. You can see that it's actually on a very nice tight hinge there, and there are some coins and dollar bills inside there. And then as far as the play feature goes, on this side you can see that there's a little peg, and when you push that peg forward, it actually busts the windows out. And then, of course, there's a hook on the back of the Two-Face vehicle, and it's going to be hard to do on camera here, but you can pull this out and then hook the safe onto the Two-Face vehicle hook and drag that along for the adventures that you're going to have while you play with this set. So it really is a fantastic concept that you get some scenery to interact with, you get an objective for them to steal. It really reminds me of, like, the old Agents sets in that regard, but... It really is a fantastic build. Speaking of builds, we of course have the Two-Face truck that we briefly just took a look at here. It's purple uh, and orange, just like Two-Face. It's split the same way that he is in this set. I really love that it's like a Jeep monster truck kind of thing. The stickers have some bullet holes on the side that just make it look fantastic. I love this uh, crane on the back. It moves up and down and of course side to side. It's just a very zany thing. Feels like something definitely out of like a Batman cartoon or something of the like. Uh, we've got a gun on the side here that moves up and down, side to side, and then of course it spins, so it doesn't actually shoot anything. But then on this side, we do have some flick fire missiles that shoot, and then of course there's space to put one of the goons in. So it's kind of crazy that like Two Face can drive and be here, and one of the goons is going to be walking. So, you know, that's just the way that this works out. But 
I hope you guys would agree so far that this really is just a fantastic, fantastic set. Definitely a great hallmark for this era of DC. And last but not least here is this fantastic, fantastic Batmobile. At the time, you know, it was a great combination of like the Burton Batmobile, the animated series Batmobile. I mean, it just has so many awesome iconic elements without leaning too heavy into one style of the Batmobile. You can see it's a little bit dusty. Like I said, that is one of the things that you run the risk of when you buy these sets used, but it had a sticker on the hood here. Uh, big, big wheels with these uh, yellow interiors. Really love that. Very solid build. Some flames in the back some flick fire missiles and then of course the cockpit opens and you can see where you could seat batman in there there's a computer and then it all closes up to make one succinct awesome batmobile so like i said guys i really really love this set um i'm curious to hear what you guys think so drop a comment below i want to know if you think i'm too biased am i being too good to this set am i not being good enough I don't know, there's just something about this set. I don't know if it's nostalgia, I don't know what it is, but I have always loved this set. So, drop a comment below, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.